All right, next. Next up, we have we have Nicholas from Emurgo. And Nicholas is the CTO of Emurgo, a blockchain, a global blockchain solutions company and a founding entity of Cardano, in addition to the CEO of Brand Mark, a traceability, solu a traceability solution working on some of Israel's largest enterprises. So prior to Ermugo, Nicholas was the CEO and co-founder of a software development firm, which built 40 plus mobile solutions and worked with multiple companies in Silicon Valley. He also holds a position as council member of the Cardano Foundation. So yes, hi Nicholas, welcome. Hi. Do you want to share your slides or do you want to just chat? Uh, I have some slides that I would like to share. Um, yeah. One second, share screen. So Nicholas will talk about DeFi in Cardano or DeFi on Cardano's platform. Cool. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So uh, my name is Nico Arqueros. I'm the CTO of, of Femurgo. And uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about DeFi in Cardano, the UTXO way. So what is Cardano? Cardano is a third generation blockchain that seeks to deliver more advanced features than any other protocol previously developed. So uh, what do this means in practice that a third generation blockchain uh, basically is going to have safer smart contracts, uh, sustainability through the centralized governance. Also, we already have proof of stake, which is Ouroboros, and also we are implementing scalability solutions uh, so we can uh, build dApps that can scale up to uh, millions of users. But the presentation is going to be uh, specific about UTXO. And uh, the last thing that I wanted to mention about Cardano is that Cardano is actually composed by three organizations. The Cardano Foundation, which is like a nonprofit entity based in Switzerland that works with regulators and the community, Input Output, uh, who uh, they are like uh, the organization that has researchers, developers, uh, and they're actually the ones in charge of developing the protocol. And also there is a third organization called Emurgo, where I'm the CTO, and we are most working with like companies and uh, bringing some specific business use cases to the platform. So uh, this presentation is going to be a little bit technical, but not too deep. I just want to uh, showcase uh, why Cardano is like a better, better, uh, but sometimes to be better, you need to do something really different. And I want to explain this specific difference. So what is extended UTXO? So we have here about UTXO because it's actually the uh, accounting model that's using Bitcoin. Ethereum and other blockchains use a different one that's account, accounting model. And uh, this is really interesting because, for example, Bitcoin works more as a cashier in a supermarket. So for example, if you're going to buy something that's 95 cents, maybe you pay with $1 and they're going to give you change. So they're going to give you a coin back that's for five cents. Uh, Ethereum and other blockchains work differently. They work more like a bank account. So if you need to pay like 95 cents, you just transfer 95 cents. Uh, in practice, it sounds uh, more simple, but uh, everything at the end is a trade-off. And extended UTXO uh, stands that uh, in Cardano, we grab uh, the UTXO model from Bitcoin and we extend it so it can support smart contracts. But why? Like uh, everything seems to be working fine, Ethereum, no? But uh, the truth is that uh, with extended UTXO model, we can have more of a functional approach. And for the ones that uh, code, uh, you know that usually when you avoid a state and you have a functional approach, uh, it's like better programming language and it's like less prompt to bugs, mistakes, and so many other things. Also, uh, UTXO based smart contracts. Uh, are like better suited for scalability paradigms that uh, by avoiding global state and also for uh, charting, uh, which seems like is the way that multiple blockchains are going to be scaling. Uh, UTX surveys smart contracts are better for that because actually they can be parallelized, like the same way as a computer work when you have like multiple cores in your computer and you send different instructions to different cores in your computer. So UTX uh, model is like a little bit more like this and basically everything works with like state machines which is like uh, pretty simple and pretty clean 
So uh, for developing smart contracts, uh, and uh, did you, uh, at the end, the UTXO holds most of the information and holds like the personal state. So uh, a big difference is that usually in Ethereum smart contracts, the smart contract per se is going to be holding all the state for everything. But here, a uh, big difference is that actually the UTXO holds most of the difference. And through action, this UTXO can like uh, change. Uh, you are going to create new, a new UTXO or could be a split in multiple UTXOs. And this allows to, as, I, as you can see in the screen, uh, some very basic models of state machines where you can be changing between different states and even go back to the previous state. But the part that's really good is that you can do this with like thousands of users at the same time. So they can be holding different states in a really clean way for the developers. And basically, what is the information that the UTXO holds? So the UTXO uh, is going to hold uh, the tokens that uh, the user uh, has, a validator script hatch, which basically is the hatch of the smart contract, because in Cardano, we are not storing the smart contracts on chain, but actually we are, uh, the smart contracts are stored off chain, but we validate the smart contracts because they need to, the hatch needs to match the one that was using the UTXO. Also for last, uh, a data script, a datum, which is like the information that's stored on chain, but we always try to minimize this uh, to the very minimum. So what is required to do a transaction? So uh, we will need like the input of the UTXOs that you're going to use, pretty similar to Bitcoin. We also going to uh, need the validator script, which is uh, what I mentioned is actually the smart contract. Also, we're going to need a redeemer script, which basically are like the input. So for example, if you want to interact with that DEX, the redeem script is going to be like uh, for uh, for how much you want to exchange like sub tokens and for which token uh, do you want uh, to change. And also the slot range, which basically means that uh, if the network is congested or if uh, you want uh, something to happen in the future, you can specify a slot range so something could happen in the future. And basically, uh, this is like the model that we extend the UTXOs, but uh, like the specific programming language that we implemented for Cardano is called Plurus. And uh, basically smart uh, Plurus consists of like uh, pieces that run on chain uh, and pieces that run off chain. And, but everything is uh, developed in Haskell. Uh, for some of you, maybe you have heard that about Haskell, it is like really cool uh, function programming language. And uh, we were able to develop uh, uh, Plurus uh, TX, which works on top of Haskell. And this is a part that actually works on chain. And on the very bottom, uh, you can see a little bit of how it looks like. And the really, again, uh, I would like to express that the really cool thing about this is that we work with the state machine. So we have clear change of uh, machine states. And also it's a functional programming language, which is going to help a lot with everything related to bugs uh, uh, and verifying that the smart contracts actually do what they're supposed to. Uh, we know that that could be a little bit like uh, scary. So also we have another solution, which are for the ones that maybe they don't want to go to uh, too uh, low uh, for developing a smart contract. And this solution is called Malo, which is a domain specific language. In other words, it's like, uh, instead of being able to build anything that you want, it's like a little bit more limited, but uh, specializes in finan financial smart contracts and follows everything that has been done with Actus. So still you can do a lot with Malo. Malo, uh, I like uh, Plurus, it looks like a little bit more like this. So you can see uh, here uh, the code, uh, it looks like with cases, but even that sometimes it's not that friendly. So you also can use uh, this little thing called Blockly. So it's like pretty nice because actually you can put like block to create a smart contract. And the really nice thing here is that you even have a static analysis. So this could help you automatically telling you what things could be wrong. Uh, uh, if you were, uh, creating some things that maybe the code is not going to be able to reach out to that specific part of the code. Or for example, if you are using variables that actually the, you don't uh, use them again, 
uh, it's pretty nice and uh, smart contracts you can actually create something that's actually secure uh, in just less than an hour so it's like quite amazing and i wanted to keep it short because mostly i wanted to answer questions and uh, if you want to know more about cardano i will highly recommend you to go to cardano.org for more information Awesome. Thank you so much. So let me ask some questions that is Ooh. over here. Can Cardano work with any other oracles or any oracles? So right now we are working with different oracle providers. As I mentioned, the way that uh, Cardano works is through UTXOs. So uh, in our specific case, you need to be able to expand a UTXO to confirm it. So uh, sometimes oracles will have to create like multiple UTXOs, but uh, we can work with like uh, most of like the oracles out there. Are they and, like the last thing? For example, we have different types of oracles. Uh, Sorry, continue. So for example, we have, uh, for example, in Coinbase we have signed data. So you actually don't need like a more of like uh, an advanced solution like, for example, Chainlink to like read uh, information from uh, Coinbase because they are already giving you like the information that's uh, signed. So you can verify that already with smart contracts in Cardano. And this is like quite good because you can have like faster information and cheaper because right now something that we see in Ethereum is that uh, gas fees are super high. So uh, that's why we are like doing some things on chain and other things off chain so we can speed up the process and also make it cheaper. That's a very good um, jump to the next question is that I was under the impression that Cardano is an ETH killer and gas fees is a big problem now. How will Cardano tap on this opportunity? Oh yeah, that's like a nice introduction for that question. So basically uh, we are avoiding uh, most of like the unnecessary uh, uh, operations uh, in mm -hmm. the chain. Uh, for example, uh, as I mentioned, uh, for example, uh, you are not going to be having to interact with that many uh, smart contracts because also uh, instead what you can do is like verify that uh, some information was actually uh, signed by some specific like private key uh, through the usage of uh, its public key. And also because uh, we are like working with scalability solutions that are like using charting, uh, which is also what all the blockchains are uh, aiming to use. And for example, Ethereum is working in that. But the problem that they could have is that they still have a model that uh, uses like global state. So it's going to be like really tricky to have something that's centralized, but running like multiple different parallel blockchains. And that's mm -hmm. why uh, the UTXO way of a smart contract is really interesting because as something that's parallelizable through charting, mm. also to be parallelizable in the smart contract level. DeFi is quite distributed. DeFi has a lot of different segments. What do you think is the biggest DeFi use case where UXTO, UTXO is the most value add that, that adds value to that sector in DeFi? Cool. So basically, uh, I think right now uh, there is a lot of like proof of concept and even like uh, eight years, uh, like seven years ago, Ethereum was a proof of concept. But as we are building and testing like new uh, different ways to utilize this technology, we realize that sometimes uh, the technical part is not like good enough. So in Cardano, uh, UTXO doesn't limit the, uh, the application that you can do, but actually uh, the UTXO is like a better way to play nice with other technologies that we see are required uh, for a blockchain to scale up. And uh, personally, I really like everything that's mostly related, not so much to the current usage of DeFi, but actually more about like what I can see in like a second level, which is for like uh, banking the bank and also uh, uh, fully bank the semi bank. And uh, but right now that's like really tricky because, for example, if we want to be using a stable coin like Dai and mm -hmm. you want to move from dollars to die you're going to be paying like 12 percent just to buy die so it's like not actually practical for people so there are like a lot of like different problems that we need to solve as an industry so people can like jump uh uh on chain and off chain quite easily and without spending money because actually and bank and bank people don't have that much extra money to like be spending in like fees that's actually what they're trying to avoid 
Agreed. So a, a question, a personal view of you, is DeFi a bubble? So uh, I think like sadly, most of the technologies uh, sometimes they start like uh, getting like too hot and they turn to a bubble. But for example, uh, we have the bubble in the 2000s about like all the tech companies. But then we saw that, oh, Amazon uh, was a bubble at that point. Yes, at that point it was a bubble, but now even their, uh, their, their value and their price in the stock market is like even higher than on the top of that bubble. So it depends where you are. Sometimes things are like really hot quite easily, but I think in the long term, we definitely are going to uh, be creating a lot of value. Mm. Awesome. Um, one last question. Oops. The, will Cardano launch their version of Just Swap? Or do you, and what do you think of Tron's play? Uh, so I hear the first part. The second part was uh, what I think about which uh, specific Tron. project. Uh, Tron. Tron. I, I, I don't know much about Tron. Uh, to be honest, I, I know that just, uh, Justin is like a huge personality and that's super interesting, but I sadly don't know much about that about like uh, what we are going to ask to have something like similar to Uniswap, definitely we're going to have like- uh, Uniswap, I think. It's um, just swap. Oh, just swap. Oh, I don't know just swap. Uh, I don't know too. But if it's like a decentralized uh, exchange that using AMM, uh, which is like automatic market makers, mm -hmm. uh, definitely we're going to have a few in Cardano and we have multiple organizations uh, working in multiple uh, proposals. So actually, if you have multiple DEXs, then you're going to yeah. also have like DEX aggregators. So uh, we you can expect to see uh, most of the same applications that you see in Ethereum and other blockchains in Cardano, but they're going to be built in a different way. Are they similar? Are they the same companies that are looking to expand to layer, new layer one solutions or are they completely new companies? So Those that yeah, that's a really good question. Uh, so it's actually like a mix of companies. So we have a, a, a fair amount of companies that are like, uh, they have like this huge problem with the gas fees and they actually, uh, their solutions cannot be used that much, although their valuations are like uh, pretty big. So, but they're always like actually looking for making the project work. So they are looking at alternatives. And in Cardano, um, we already have a, a pretty fair amount of, uh, of projects that are like, going to be like supporting Cardano. Awesome. Okay, so one last question by um, the person here. If I, have a, if I am a project wanting to work with Cardano, what can I do? Cool. So uh, you have like multiple ways to interact with Cardano. So for example, right now uh, we have, uh, you can go to Emorgo uh, to support. It's like similar to consensus. Also, you can go for a grant from the Cardano Foundation and the Cardano Foundation is putting RFP about different topics uh, where you can get a grant, or actually you can get a grant from the community. Uh, right now, there is a project called Project Catalyst that uh, is going to close in two more days and it's giving away uh, in total like up to $250,000. And this is uh, uh, like all the people that you need to address and uh, for this latest one is like the community. So for that, uh, for us, it's super important uh, sustainability and we do this through like multiple options so uh if like for some reason you like emurgo or even if you also like the cardano foundation you can go directly to the community for support and actually they can give you ada from like the treasury system sounds good well thank you so much nico and yeah. thank you everyone thank you. follow nico and yeah <laughs> bye, -bye. bye.